Guys, come in close. You tumble turn, hit the wall, and your leg go this way, and your arms go this way, and your head goes this way, and you're trying to push off the wall. So what you're going to do, you're going to um, do your changeover. Up. Yep. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a three-way arrangement, I think. The, the parents are critical, particularly in the um, stages before an athlete can drive. But Seabom inside the world record at the moment. Did she make it? She's got it! She's done it! Woo! World record number two on the opening night for a 15-year-old. A 15 world record holder in an Olympic year. Wow! What a night! What a night there's mum. The parents and, and the coach need to communicate about the development of their of their child and um, and they all need to be on board. They all need to be working in the same direction. You can't have parents thinking it needs to be done one way and the coach going in the opposite direction. So the co cooperation is very important. You know, we've got to understand what our roles are. The swimmer, the coach and the parent and uh, make sure that we all you know, act in that, in that capacity. It is really important that everyone talks to each other, particularly if there are any problems. Listening to your coach is probably the most important thing. Um, without listening to your coach, you, you'll be, you know, zigging and zagging with no real direction. Um, they're the person that's going to get you in line, make you improve, um, and they're, they're on your team. It's, it's not like a school teacher where you're getting in trouble every time they, they growl at you. It's for your best, um, best interests. Especially as a teenage kid, what you've got to realise is that um, you know your coach is there as an ally. Um, you know he wants to, he or she wants you to get the best performance that you can out of every every time you step into the pool. And um, you know they're they're not only learning as they go. Uh, a lot of a lot of coaches have a lot of experience, but in saying that as well, I, I think the biggest thing that everyone has to remember, and most importantly with athletes, is that at the end of the day, your coach uh, wants you to perform well. Well, I reckon it's always a good thing when you're a swimmer. I suppose your coach can be a daunting figure sometimes, but to try and form that relationship with your coach where you have a happy conversation on a daily basis, all right? Say hello to your coach when you come to the pool rather than drag your bag in and just go and talk to your friends. I think that's pretty important. And hopefully your coach would be saying hello to you as well. Look after your gear. You know, it's not your mum's responsibility or your dad's responsibility. It's your responsibility. The things that you use on a daily basis. Make sure your drink bottle's full. And, uh, you know, if you're having um, some kind of energy drink as well with that, well, make sure you've got that prepared and organised. Not rely on someone else to be bringing it to you during the training session. So that's all part of the beginnings of your own personal management. Maintaining a healthy and um, you know, a healthy body is, is very important. Um, what you eat is very important, uh, eating straight away after training, um, usually bars free, I always have one or two of them in my bag for straight after training before I get home. So, um, you know, getting, get, getting that proper nutrition in there and um, getting enough sleep is also really important. Uh, I know a lot of people like to stay up late and watch movies and whatever, but nothing is better for you than sleep. Hi, I'm Jeff Hugel, and what's in my bag? Well, I've got uh, one of the most important things in competition is keeping your fluids up. Uh, you know, you don't want to be dehydrated when you go in and, and uh, stand up behind the block, so water is one of the most important things. I also have protein bars. Uh, protein bars are very, very good for recovery straight after a race, and as well as protein bars, I also have some protein powder. So I can mix that up and just throw that straight in and, and throw that down in terms of recovery. Because uh, obviously one of the most important things is making sure that you recover from heat to finals very adequately. On top of that, uh, I also have some more fluids. So some uh, Powerade or so on. Uh, and uh, a spare set of goggles, uh, racing goggles, uh, a few lollies just to snack on, keep a little bit of the energy up. Um, and then on top of that as well, um, I guess some of the most essential stuff, <laughs> moisturiser, uh, a little bit of face moisturiser just in case uh, I get a bit dry there and, um, and look, that's probably about it, that's all I got in my bag. <laughs>